Good morning, folks. It is breezy today. All right, hopefully that's better. Hopefully you can still see me. Whoa, folks. Welcome back to the episode of Fishing with Flash. Today we are at the farm. We are doing, well, what are we doing? So what do we gotta do? We gotta set up the beaver traps and I think that's it. Beaver trapping season is almost over and uh, I believe there's at least two left. I think we're gonna head off. We're gonna grab, she's looking all nice and dirty like. We're gonna take this thing out and go try to trap some beavers and then probably shoot some coyotes. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. Since day one that we've been doing the beaver trapping, there's been an obnoxious amount of trees. And every single time I say, I'm bringing a chainsaw down here, I'm bringing a chainsaw down. Well, I finally brought a chainsaw down. Well, as you can tell, beavers are back, folks. Look at that. They brought that in to clog up the freaking spot that we made. We're back again. We've only got a few more days of beaver trapping seasons. So we're gonna make it happen here. Put one here, we're gonna set probably three, maybe four traps out in hopes to get, we think there's two left. Dude, with the amount of work they're doing, there might be more. Might there be might be more than two, I don't know. But we're gonna get one set up here and hope for the best. Dude, they packed this sucker full of mud. Now we're flowing. I've never seen it go this fast before. Wow, that's crazy. With it ripping that quick, they will not be able to patch it from this side. What oh. if we trick them and like put it out here? Okay, I let go of it. I guess that's, that's okay. okay. Look at that, or they can't even see it. Because we can make this one a lot more narrow too. That's how we caught the second. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. I feel like they're just gonna come swimming right under it. This is a new, we've never breached this side. We've never made it go through. So it's gonna be like, surprise when they wake up and then boom. And we're also gonna put one by their hut. So if, when they do come out, then hopefully we trap them then. Trap two of them, that's the goal. Do you think they even use this? Well, I don't know if the beavers still live here. Just like that. They won't even know what hit them. Well, it looks pretty darn good to me. We've got, this is the fourth one. We've got two on the main dam, one on this dam, and one by their hut. This one's kind of high up. The water's not as high, but as that water fills this up, it should go up. We just kind of disguised it. I don't know if it's gonna work. They have to swim just right through there to get snapped. This is where we caught the snapping turtle, if you guys watch this video, but I don't know. We've got four in. We've only got a few days left to catch these suckers. Wish us luck. Alrighty, folks, made it down to the Beaver Dam. We got Bonzel. How's it going, Bonzel? Good. You look, you look ready. But we're headed down. We gotta go check on the beaver traps. We set what four? Four. We set four beaver traps. We gotta kill these things. We don't know how many are left. We think two. There could be seventy-six. We don't really know. We're gonna check on the traps. Fingers crossed that we caught one. All right, first one. Nope. This was the new one we dug. Is it? it is this all? I can't tell what's fresh. There's no mud. Normally, if they pack it in, they, I mean, they... Yeah, the trap didn't get it set off. I wonder if sticks just did it. Like, yeah. if that was just nature, just got sucked up in there. I didn't see that many sticks in the water, though, yesterday. There's no mud there. They might have just, they, they might have just pushed one, one thing of sticks. Usually, they do a better job of patching it, though. Well, that thing is still doing, doing beaver things. I guess it's just sitting there. All right, so far, we are O for 1, checking the traps. So, we got, we got three more, hopefully. We've got one. The water's definitely gone down, though. Nope. Dude, the water's so low, though. When we when we came back, there was probably a foot of water on this big log. It went off. Oh, it went off. Yeah. Well, I didn't even realize that. Dude, we need to start setting some trail cameras out here. Because I don't know if that was a beaver. There was definitely beavers here, though. Because these... Okay, so these are the sticks they've been using. These ones, the other, like... It's almost like they're shaved off. Yeah. Those ones, right there. And then there's another one there. Those are all beavers. Beaver-made sticks. So I'm guessing that... They were here. They at least clogged it somewhat. Gosh, friggin' darn it. Oh, for two. And that trap went off. Yeah, we need to start putting some trail cameras out, I think. We need to know what's going on. We need to know how many there are. We just haven't been putting any out, but it's unclogged now. It's ripping. 
So it's still going. This is still getting drained. Honestly, since we came out here last week, like for the very first time after the snowmelt, it's probably gone down almost a foot. You can see where the water line is on these trees. It's probably eight inches, 12 inches. So that's good. At least we're, we're helping the cause. We're at least like delaying the beavers of, uh, of damming this up. But we need to kill them. If you don't kill them, it's just like, it's an endless game. And they have the determination of a freaking Viking warrior. They just, they won't give up. All right, now this one was set up by their den, which we actually haven't had set, set a trap here in a while. That's where we caught our first one. It was through here, nothing. Oh, for three. Was all that junk there though? It's almost like we need to take a picture. Yeah, I think, I think a lot of that junk was, I don't know if all of it was, but the we, trap doesn't even look messed with. No, they didn't touch that trap. They, they hadn't done anything on that. If they're not even using this, then where are they living? Or do they know just don't go that way and they're climbing out? Yeah, maybe that's oh. Dude, you can smell their caster though. Yeah. They've gotta be somewhat using this. If you guys don't know how it is, it's like this, it's like a, it's where they mark their territory with, I guess. They just smeared everywhere and it has a very strong potent scent. Yeah, you do smell it? Yeah. Yeah, it's super strong. So it's gotta be, they probably pack it up on top of their roof and the wind's blowing right in our face, so you can smell it. Oh, for three, we only have one left. And this one was down, the last one is down on the smaller beaver dam. So there's a huge beaver dam that goes down into kind of like a little puddle. And then there's a smaller beaver dam, which actually that's our last beaver that we caught and cleaned and cooked was caught on this, the smaller one. And it's actually where we caught the snapping turtle too. The snapping turtle was caught right here too. So we set it up kind of in the same place. It's our last hope. Otherwise, I don't know how we're gonna win this battle with the beavers. They're just kicking our butt right now. Oh, this mud. It doesn't really look like it's flowing very much. Oh, there's one. I see the fur. I see the fur. We got one. Oh my God, look how big it is. Okay, so just to give you guys a reference, that's the big beaver dam where we just came from. Then it runs here, and then they built another one here. So he came, normally, the last one we caught, right, was this way. Yeah. So he came up the back. That makes me wonder. Do we think there's a dam over there? Or a den, not a dam, a den. Do we think he just crawled up this way? Or do you think he like came down and was like doing some beaver things and then came in that way? I don't know, all I know is, he got pretty far into that thing. That's a big freaking beaver, dude. Dude, look out. Oh my gosh. 100% Look at that. That's that a, thing's huge. That's PB beaver, boys. Oh, we're catching cooking them, baby. We're eating good. I don't know how we're going to cook them. We'll figure that out later, but you guys stay tuned. We'll do a catch, clean, and cook. If you guys didn't see the first one, we've already done this, but we're going to do it again. We'll do a different recipe. We're not going to do Franks and fry it, okay? Beaver is so tasty. It is not just something you fry. Like, it's a... It tastes like beef. It's really good. So, all right. Well, grab him? yeah, yeah. Go ahead and grab him. <laughs> That's a freaking. Hey, look at the chompers on that guy. He's cut down some trees before. <sighs> Cheese and rice. Dear God, dude, this thing is massive. Eventually, we're going to Walmart. We got to get a Bonzo. What are we making? We are making beaver pulled sandwiches. That's what we're making. Like pulled pork, but not pork. Bonzo, what are we getting? Come on, come on, Bonzel. We're doing the Food Network one. Looks good. Brown sugar, mustard powder, vegetable oil, tomato paste, buns. You want some coleslaw for a side? So let's start with something. What vegetable do oil. Vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. Check. Gold. What about golden brown? Yeah, it tastes the same. Are it's you sh Are you sure? I don't think it's gonna mess the whole recipe. That's pure up. cane sugar, golden brown. It's just different kinds. All right. Ground, ground cumin? That's a giant thing of cumin. Yeah, that'll last your life. Okay, supply. we're getting a lifetime supply of ground cumin. Hot, pap, here's pap, what about smoked paprika? That'd be good, get some smoked one. Smoked? Yeah. Okay, smoked paprika. Ma, 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 Ground mustard? Is that what we need? No, mustard powder, is that the same thing? I mean, that looks like a powder to me. Yeah, 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 it'll be fine, I'm sure it'll be fine. Apple cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar. All right, what else? Tomato paste. Is that the same thing as tomato sauce? No, it is not. Really? All right. We found it. And we got it. Tomato paste. Okay. Fun fact. Bonsai is a barbecue sauce guru. So I... Just I'll, just barbe like I'll just let you t I'll just let you pick. You know, if it tastes like ass, then it's your problem. Well, not mine. Do you, like, do you like smoky flavored? I'm a, I mean, I'm cool with whatever, man. Kansas City makes the best barbecue. You got to go with this. What do you think? You, you, you fine with you that? You gotta try new things. I'm gonna trust him. I'm gonna trust him. Last but not least, what are we, what are we rolling with here? Oof, that's, that's a move there, boys. We got all the goods here at the Wall of Mark. Didn't get kicked out. Now we're going home. We gotta, well, we gotta clean this thing. Still isn't clean. We need to go clean this beaver. 20 minutes later. Ow! 
Ow, that actually kind of hurt. You ready to do that? Kind of hurts. I forgot how to clean a beaver. I hadn't done that in a while. Wow. Here is my big furry beaver. We're gonna try to get this. You getting it figured out there, Jack? Not really. You wanna do it? We're gonna give this guy a cleaning here. If you guys haven't seen this before, I've done this one other time. This is way bigger. I mean, this tail, look at this. Let's skin this thing. So first things first, cut the feet off. These guys just go right like this, all the way around. And that thing, look at this crazy, they're webbed. That's why you see them swimming so freaking fast. Beavers are one of the most interesting animals, honestly. Like if you really think about it, they got this freaking thing, they've got these weird webbers with some huge claws. Their teeth just cut, cut down trees. Like, I think they're kind of weird. How they mark like, their territory. Yeah, I don't know, dude. They're just, they got, they're, they're cool. They're, they're smart. Just, I think they're smart. I think they are smart. One foot down, three to go. Fun fact, the beaver tail actually acts as a knife sharpener. So as you can tell, I've got one, two, three, four cut off. Now stick your knife right about down yonder. And we're gonna go do a cut all the way up through here, up into the chin. Okay, so after this gets all cut up, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one side and just take your knife and you're gonna do this and just cut, cut the fat out right here. You're just gonna do it like this. Just flush it out right along the meat. You can see there's a little bit of meat right there. And you're gonna do this all the way down this side, all the way down this side. It's gonna kind of come wrapped around the back and then you'll take off the back. And actually, if you sell a, a beaver for its fur, like its pelt, all they care about is the back side. So that's why you cut the front side. Never cut the back, just cut the front. Well, I'm gonna leave it at this. This is probably too much for YouTube as it is. I'm sure it's demonetized. So uh, do me a favor, go pick up some merch, link down below. Come support the channel because YouTube definitely won't support this video. But essentially that's how you skin it. Uh, you cut off the hands, go around, and I just, you guys saw how I was kind of skinning it. I just did the whole thing, cut off the tail, ripped it from the back, basically you go, you chop the head. And then this is, this is gonna be where the meat is. You got some back strap right here. Obviously you got the legs and the feet, a little bit of meat right back here. But I'm gonna go ahead and just get all the meat out. I don't wanna show this for too long and we'll throw it in the bowl. And then Bonzo's taking over the show, boys. He's cooking. Stay tuned. You made the seasoning yeah. mix and that's it? Your show. And then I'll eat. Okay, just yell at me if I do it wrong, okay? Okay. Oh, Mace, what do you, Mace joined. What are we doing here? Uh, Pour it in! Just putting the oil do it! In. Put that canola oil in there. All right, well, we're back, folks. This is the meat, we've actually got two bowls. And believe it or not, this was not even all of it. This was probably, we probably used three quarters of it. Three quarters, there's about a quarter of it we just threw in the fridge, but we can't, I mean, my Instant Pot isn't giant, so we gotta tone it down to mace. How many, okay, so these are probably even. These are at least a pound each. So I'd say maybe three pounds of meat, and it calls for four, so we're close enough. You're gonna coat, evenly coat all the meats. It smells good. It's got that smoky yeah, taste, or smoky smell to it. I, this is gonna be good. Beaver is so delicious. Can we turn down that wheel of fortune? Never. Oh, oh cheese and rice, you instapot. Turn that thing down, damn it. I'm gonna get burnt. Okay, is, there, is this ready? Can I put it in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, be careful. Hang on. What's gonna happen? <laughs> it's popping. Take cover. Take cover, boys. We need backup. Take cover. All right, we're good. <laughs> Right, the final step into the Instapot, it goes. Wow. Stir it up nice and turn it on yeah. for an hour. Yeah. On high. On high for an hour. One hour later. Oh, oh, snap. 12 seconds later. I mean, that towel's doing much. It might take a couple minutes. Couple minutes? You ready? Moment of truth. Wait, do you want me to open this it up? This is where you're supposed you? to yell beaver, aren't you? Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh, that's. Oh, yes. Oh, Perfect. it's done. God, I love beaver so much. Dude, this was so much meat. And this isn't even all. Like, we literally have probably half of this amount still in the refrigerator. I like thoroughly enjoy catching beavers for the meat. Like, you know, catching raccoons and possums and 
All this other stuff is usually just for predator control. Coyotes obviously don't eat those, but this is like, man, this is good. This is good stuff. That's the meat. All right, we're tasting this. It's pretty hot. Is leave. it pretty hot? Yeah. Oh, dude, that's super tender. Well, you can try it with me, or you just gonna eat beaver by myself? Is this kind of friend of you? All right, ready? No, this one's hot. Wow. You you can't tell us. This is way better than we had it last yeah. time. Yeah. Let's get a little, little beef on there. Oof, yeah. Let me get this Kansas City barbecue-ness on here. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just a nice little layer. All right. Dude, this, you, nobody, you, I could take a picture of this post on Instagram, and negative and a half people would guess that this is beaver. Yeah. All right. Do it. That is unreal. Oh, my gosh. That is so good. Like, I'm having two sandwiches. 100%. Dude, we got to get somebody over here. Who can we invite? What time is it? What up? Yo, what's up? What's up? Are you home? You want to be in a video real quick? Yeah, sure. For what? Um, me and Austin made our own barbecue sauce. Yeah. And we're doing like a taste test right now, and it's a tie, right. and we need a tiebreaker. Oh. You want Where to? Where you at? I'm at my house. All right. Uh, I, I can come over if you want. All right. All right. I'll text you the address, and yeah, just come over. We just need we just need a tiebreaker. All right. See ya. Bye. -bye. <laughs> For those of you guys that don't know, that was Hook and Hogs. I've been I fished with this dude all the time in his pond. I guess he's gonna be the tiebreaker. Let me send him. I'll send him my address. We found a problem. I didn't have any barbecue sauce in the refrigerator, so it's even funnier because it's gonna be the same barbecue sauce. We're gonna basically we're gonna put some in here. It's gonna be Austin's, and this one's gonna be mine. And he's gonna say which one's better, but it's funny because they're all the same. But it defeats purpose because he thinks this is beef. Like we're gonna tell him it's beef brisket or something, and he's gonna be so focused on the sauce. I'm back, yellow is beaver. He might freak out. We don't know. You guys stay tuned. What's up? What's up? What's going on? You ready to put some meat in your mouth? I'm ready. Okay. I'm right. hungry. Okay, that's good. I'm glad. Okay, okay. So we have two sauces, A and B. It's a barbecue night, man. Monday night. No ways. Oh yeah. There's some good meat in there. It was, it was uh, beef. Hey. It was beef brisket. <laughs> what do we got here? It's beef brisket. Okay. It's really good. So I don't know, so who made, like, you don't, you, you don't get to know. No, but like, who made them? You and him? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, go, okay. I'll, let you, I'll let you do the fixings. Okay. Dabble on there, the amount that you like. Let's get it. Oh, okay, yeah. so this is this is A. Yep, this is, that's A. Hold on a minute. I'm nervous, dude. I don't know what he's gonna, I don't know what he's gonna <laughs> They look the same. Them. Okay, so they they're, look they're, the same. They're very similar. This one's a little darker, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, they're, they're pretty similar. All right, you just, I mean, you gotta get like some meat, too. Like, you don't want it to be all, all right, sauce. Yeah. It won't be that good, you know? All right, so here goes A. Good meaty bite. You a fan of A or not so much? Kind it's of, good. Is it good? It's actually good. Yeah, really? This is like, this it's is like, like it's like legit. Yeah. This is like restaurant barbecue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's legit. Super you legit. made this? Yes. Well, well not, 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 I did this. One of us. Yeah, like, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, we made these, yeah. Okay, A is definitely spicy. Is it spicy? Yeah. Not like super spicy, but like, it's got spice. All right, B. All right, here we go. Who's got a more nervous face? <laughs> I'm confident. Is that good? That's really good. Really? That's really good. I think B. You think it's I, I think it's really? B. Yeah. I don't I, I, this one has a little less spice. A little less? So yeah. You're, you're, you don't know, you like more of like the sweet, not the not mm -hmm. quite spicy. This one this one's more sweet. This one's like spicier. Gotcha. So you're taking B. You're taking B. I'm taking B, B wins. Yeah. The dub, baby. No way, I guess. The dub, it. yes. Yes, took the dub. Oh my gosh. Overall, like, you did, like, was the meat decent? And, like, bread? I mean, obviously. Yeah, it was, like, it was all good. But, like, you definitely like the sweeter. Right? Oh, I could eat this every day. Really? Yeah. You're gonna keep eating it, huh? I'm gonna keep eating it. Yeah, you really did come over here hungry, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Do you, do you wanna know why we really brought you over? Why? Can you guess what kind of meat that is? Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> No you, way. Is that you, really, or something? <laughs> you really thought we were testing the sauces? <laughs> the, the sauces were the same. They're store, it's store bought sauce. No way! <laughs> exact same. We suck! <laughs> what, so what do you think it is? What do you think you just ate? What do you think you just ate? I don't know. It's it's good. Good. It was good. Was it good? It was good. Beaver. Yes. It's, it's beaver. beaver. Is that good? That is good. It's good beaver. That it's, is. I, had two sandwiches. I just ate beaver for the first time. Well, folks, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this part. This was like a totally last second deal. Like, we were done with the video, and really? I was like, dude, we got to get somebody over here to taste it. 
Because every single time him and I eat something, we're both like, dude, it's good. I just absolutely sent it on the highway to yeah, eat here. Yeah, you were just like, <laughs> <laughs> you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section down below what we should do this next. Should we do like, I guess trapping season's getting close to being over. We gotta catch some hogs, dude. You wanna go catch some fish? Yeah. Okay, I guess we gotta go catch some fish. Thanks for watching, folks. Peace!